Wall Street is set to open higher in midweek trade, features do point to modest gains. Now, geopolitical jitters over North Korea have subsided today, and this morning focuses on U.S. economic data. Revised Q2 GDP came in above forecast, rising 3% versus 2.7%. Uh, which was expected. Now, ADP data showed private sector jobs rose by 237,000 in August. This also topped estimates ahead of the jobs report on Friday. Now, in the prior session, U.S. indices closed higher, boosted by shares in the capital goods, food and staples retailing, and tech hardware and equipment sectors. As for investors and decliners, 41% of S&P 500 constituents traded higher yesterday. Now, moving on to company news. Bank of America has Berkshire Hathaway as its biggest shareholder. This after Berkshire exercised warrants to buy 700 million shares. Now, these warrants are part of a 2011 investment deal with the bank that allowed Berkshire to buy the stock for 7 bucks and 14 cents per share. Moving on to other company news, tax preparer H&R Block reported earnings in line with forecasts and revenue that also beat a forecast. Now, H&R Block tends to report losses in quarters outside of its seasonal tax business. Looking at overseas markets, the Nikkei was off nearly half a percent, the Hang Seng down 0.35 percent, and South Korea's Kospi down nearly a quarter of a percent. European indices are trading lower today. And here in the U.S., the spotlight is on the Nasdaq. A further advance is expected, and long positions above 58.55 are preferred, with targets currently at 59.25 and 59.40 in extension. For the Dow Industrials and S&P 500, a further advance is expected.